Hey cuties, PG here. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going over some various Bratz leaks. So let's get into it. So the first leak is this reproduction. Well, not really reproduction. It's more like a reinventing of the holiday uh, edition, special edition Bratz doll. We've already had holiday Trinity doll. She was exclusive back in the day. She had a pink dress and now they've remade that into a new Felicia doll with a yellow dress but basically the dress the design even the artwork on the packaging is the same it's just been altered a little bit to fit obviously the new character which is felicia and um i gotta say like she could stand on her own like she doesn't have to be inspired by trinity which was the um old ho holiday um special edition doll with the pink dress which i w i was actually thinking of getting her before like a while ago but i never got her um and people didn't really like her and but like felicia she has a full-on articulated body she has like a full-on head of ha curly hair like those two buns and the makeup and and her dress is a little different in that it's like actually a two-piece she has like a bralette top and then her skirt is a separate piece um as on trinity she had a full-on dress it was all one piece so that's really cool and trinity she had a scarf kind of like a shawl wrapped around her and felicia here has like a fur stole uh, instead um i think the changes they made for her are really nice they really set her apart and make her more distinct and i just think the beautiful rich yellowy yellow yellowy almost like mustard but not mustard it's more, it's like a really bright yellow you know like a sunflower yellow i think that color they chose is really nice it really makes her pop really just complements her so well um i really like her a lot and not only is she stunning and she's articulated which is even more awesome but she has a new heel mold in her skin color which apparently was not very common for her so that's also really nice she comes with a brush in gold a doll stand in gold both uh unique to her i presume she comes with a adorable small little fabric gold purse that's really adorable I, I mean i hope it's fabric i think it's fabric um and then she also comes with an exclusive bratz 20th anniversary bracelet which is actually a real like real metallic uh substance it's like not, it's not plastic like it's real metal this accessory this bracelet is actually made by a, a real accessory brand called uh gaia i think the names on the packaging that we saw before um so it is an actual bracelet like it's not cheaply made it's an actual like exclusively designed part of the set bracelet that actually looks really cute like look at that hand right there look at that 20th anniversary logo look at that brats uh the the, the the letters and it's just it's all so cool like it looks really cute i think i would love to get her but um she's probably gonna be so expensive on ebay since you know here on in where i live uh this is it's not common to get brat stools um so yeah but anyways i mean so that bracelet looks really good i think a lot of collectors will want to get her just because of that bracelet not just because i also just because she's a really fantabulous doll but that bracelet definitely adds more exclusivity to her um and it's a really nice touch like i said before i think the actual doll herself i mean she has really long hair she has a lot of hair she has earrings her makeup her screening is really nice her top it's it's kind of it's not it's not embroidered i think it is just glitter like put on the top but it'll match just so well and the fur and her articulation really adds a lot to her as a doll because she she is like a fan favorite character and getting her as a collector edition holiday doll is like a big deal i mean for a lot of people um and she looks amazing as is so like you know she is like she's a winner she is a winner i feel like you know rock angels may have been a bust kind of but they kind of made up for it with Felicia here. I mean, she is stunning. Look at her skirt. Look at her. Look at how it flows, the layering. I mean, her posing here. I mean, it's it's definitely a good choice they made to give her the added articulation because that really lets you do a lot of things uh, with the doll because it's, you know, posing. It's really nice. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's also good that a 
they gave it to her because she is a collector, collector doll, a holiday collector doll. And so it really does also justify her price being a little higher since she has more articulation, she has more stuff, she has a bracelet. Um, it makes, it just feels like a good deal. It just feels like a good doll right here. She is stunning. Now moving on to a surprise that no one was awaiting. Um, I guess that's what a surprise is meant to be but you know what i mean like no one was awaiting these leaks of new designer dolls of sasha and yasmin part of the g of the gcd collaboration between brats and yeah gcd which is a fashion brand i've never heard of them before but like i guess it's legit because i mean it's a it's a collab it's a collab um and they have brought out two exclusive collector dolls. Um, I'm not sure if these are the collector dolls that we've been talking about that they're gonna make. I don't think these are the ones because um, MGA, um, they said they were gonna make all of the girls, like all four, and here we only have two. So I think those are gonna be coming later. I think these are just something that popped up out of nowhere and we have no information really because it just came out of nowhere. So yeah, <laughs> they're supposed to be like expensive, like 50 bucks or even more, I think. Um, people have been finding them on Amazon, I guess, uh, in Germany even. So I, I usually leaks like these don't happen in Europe, but um, okay. So um, yeah, no one was waiting these. It's only, again, only of Yasmin and Sasha, which is weird because they have in the artwork of the box, which we will get into, we, we can see artworks from Jade and Chloe. So them not being included here is kind of weird, but I, I get it, I guess. They just wanted to focus on two characters instead, keep the collaboration short and sweet. Um, so yeah, again, uh, so like, let's just get into it. Like first, up here are the boxes <laughs> oh and it's pronounced g g c d s i i forgot one letter i'm sorry <laughs> again i have no i have no idea what this brand is all about so god i gotta apologize here i'm sorry bear with me so here are the boxes from the outside from the front um actually no i think these are the boxes from the back um from yasmin and sasha i'm sorry it's vertical i couldn't change it but basically yeah these are both boxes from the back um and they are kind of big boxes of design on them the artwork is really nice it has a very nice sheen on it here's the front box uh of sasha here's her artwork i think the artwork is so good it's delightful it looks so good honestly whoever did it props to them and then here is yasmin she looks so fierce in this artwork it's kind of a shame that her actual doll is kind of lacking but she is really she looks both of them their artworks on their boxes are so good here's how they looked on the shelf where someone found them um they're wrapped up pretty good in plastic little ties right there um as you can see gcds x brats so yeah it's on the front of the box you can see a little window of the actual doll inside um now the dolls actually have they come with a brush and a type of doll stand but and also i think like a purse but everything like that's all they come with that's all they come with just one doll um they do have articulation though so that's a plus um and then the outfit that you see on them that's all they come with so yeah a lot of people have been kind of torn because um also just the screenings just don't feel as good they kind of give off rock angels vibes with the fisheye pro problem so <laughs> well let's get into each doll respectively first up let's talk about sasha right away sasha looks the most striking because she comes with the most uh, outfit pieces her okay her hair is braided she has like mini braids um and they are really thickly rooted by the way these dolls have a lot of hair it seems and she has like a half up half down kind of situation going on uh, her hair looks great her makeup looks great as well like the little baby hair is painted on her makeup looks good her screening's okay um she has big earrings gold she has a fur coat lined with red on the inside it looks like good quality and then overall she seems to come with like just a overall like a leotard kind of a black fishnet leotard um and then over it which is one piece and then over it she comes with this like um bejeweled uh silver kind of corset almost layer i don't know how to describe it it's like a bralette but in silver 
jewels bedazzled that's weird um the jewels at the bottom that are hanging though those look very nice and i've seen a video of them like swinging swinging around and they look like good quality um so i guess the money went into those jewels <laughs> not being made of plastic or something um and it covers up everything so that's basically all she wears and then she comes wearing with boots um those boots are also exclusively printed and and newly molded for this collab because as you can see at the bottom they kind of have g CDS engraved into them very slightly, um, very lightly. <laughs> it's not very obvious, but it's a nice little, little detail. And so overall, I think she looks like the most striking, but I think she just has a lot going on with her outfit. It kind of comes off as messy, which is not good. Um, and yeah, but I mean, yeah, y'all yeah, gonna make up your own thoughts about her because uh, to me, I mean, she looks beautiful, each piece, you know, but it's just, mm, it's just kind of a mess. I, I don't know. I really, I don't know what to think of it, really, honestly. <laughs> and then we get into Yasmin. Um, here she is in a box. Here's just the front of her face. I think her screening is beautifully done. Her earrings, her little, the, like the little line of jewels that they put on the front of her middle part of her hair like right there it looks so cute it's like a cute little touch um and then she has like a choker that says gds um in the choker it says it, yeah it's molded to say that that's a cute little touch as well um her earrings also say something but i'm not sure i can't make out right now what it says i think it says um i don't know brats gds G, 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 C, D, S, G, C, I keep missing a letter. I'm so sorry. And look at that belt at the bottom. It has, it's also bejeweled, uh, probably like made out of the same jewels that Sasha's corset thingy is. It says brats. It's like a belt, and then each letter says, you know, has one letter to make out brats. <laughs> it's a cute little touch with the belt and like the dangly bits and the bejeweled elements, but. Yeah. I don't know because once we get into actually what she's wearing, it's just very simple. It's like a big poofy dress. It's, it's full covering, like it covers her full neck. It has big fluffy sleeves. Um, and then it's like a baby doll dress at the bottom. It's short and then printed on. It's just, again, the artworks of all the different characters, Chloe's, Yasmin, um, Jade, and Sasha, I think it, it's a lot of bunch of it's a bunch of artworks from characters, um, and that's basically it. It's just a poofy dress, printed with some artwork, and maybe she has like a tulle layer underneath to make it fluffier. I don't know. Um, she comes with a purse. Sasha also comes with a purse. Um, but that's it. That's all she's wearing. I mean, thank God she has really long hair, so it kind of uh, dissimulates that she's not wearing much. Like anything else but yeah i mean outfit wise she's just bare she's just wearing one layer of out, like clothing and, and and you know in comparison to sasha i mean she's wearing like three layers or three three layers of uh clothing she's she has a leotard the bejeweled corset bralette piece and then she has a fur coat i mean that's just it's just a weird choice <laughs> and since we can't really have a good look at her shoes until someone actually takes her out of the box uh all i can make out of them right now is that they seem to be kind of like a half open half closed uh wedge heel and it has like a cow print on them like a snake print some kind of animal print um i do think that looks good like i really like the shoes but i also saw another picture of a runway look that i think inspired this outfit for her and that model she was wearing over knee boots and i do think that if she was wearing over knee boots it would have covered more of her legs and it would have made it feel like she's wearing more things you know like she's more covered um but i think the the logic that the designers went with here is that since sasha is wearing over knee boots they can't give yasmin over knee boots because then they would be both wearing over knee boots so i guess they had to give one of the dolls a uh, short heels or something like smaller boots or shoes um and they chose yasmin but i would have honestly given sasha a smaller shoe and then given yasmin the uh 
over knee boots because it just makes more sense optically, you know, like visually, it just makes more sense. At the end of the day, out of the two, out of Sasha and Yasmin, I don't know why, but I prefer Yasmin just because even though she is only wearing like one layer of clothing, it's very simple, even though that's the case, I still feel like she makes more sense, like aesthetically, like it's just a poofy dress. She has shoe, like heels and it's like a matching handbag and some bejeweled elements in her earrings, her choker, her belt and her hair accessory. Like I just think that gels much better than Sasha in her fur coat, her leotard fishnet, her bejeweled corset bralette piece and then her over the boots. I just feel like that's a little bit too messy and Yasmin just makes more sense because she's more simple. Even, and even if that can be a bad thing, that's also kind of a good thing because out of the two, she just makes more sense. She just looks like she has it more together, you know? <laughs> so out of the two, I would probably try to get Yasmin. Also just, I really like the dress and the print and the shoes and her hair is just super long, like girl, oh my gosh. Um, I like her screening a lot too, like it's just her face up so nice and gorgeous. So yeah, out of the two, I like I prefer Yasmin. I don't know why, I'm sorry. I just, I do and um, I hope to get her soon. And now, but we're not done yet with this G GCDS collaboration with Bratz because um, I found this picture. It's a custom doll, I believe, of uh, the singer Dua Lipa and um, she has her own brat doll. I don't know what's happening. Don't ask me because I really don't know. I just saw it on the Instagram of Bratz, um, the story on Instagram's Bratz account. Oh my gosh. And then on the, the attack Dua Lipa's, I mean, obviously this has to be like a custom doll made for her. Her packaging, it says Dua on it. Her artwork, it's all clearly referencing her and her, um, her album that just came out, I mean, not just came out, it just came out this year or last year, I can't, I can't remember. Future Nostalgia, it's a really good album, by the way. But she, the doll, she looks so good, like the, the Pulo Rita Pink, are you kidding me? Her hair, her jeans, I, I feel like if they would release that, her, like this doll, it would be like a, you know, a hit success because she looks so good. Um, and uh yeah i just i'm so confused as to like what's going on here like is this a collaboration between dua lipa and the fashion brand G gcds and brads all together or like why else would they make her a custom doll that they're not gonna actually produce i'm just confused i need some context but um from what i can just see i think she looks beautiful <laughs> we have the second picture with dua lipa out of the box here holding hands with a uh, brat's boy doll. I don't know who he's supposed to be. Maybe he's supposed to be the designer. Maybe, you know, I have, I have, I really don't have any clue, even like who they're attacking here um, uh, in all these pictures. I have no clue, but I don't know. I, it's a cool, it, they look so cute and she looks really cute. And like, yeah, I just, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm at a loss of words with what to think contextually, like what's going on here, but she, She's just fabulous, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know what you thought of this leak, this mashup of news and leaks of Bratz dolls upcoming. What do you think of the new Felicia Holiday doll? Are you gonna get her? I wish I could get her, seriously, she's stunning. And then what do you think of the new surprise leaks of designer, collector, collab dolls, GCDS with Bratz? Like, what do you think of them? Who's your favorite? Do you also like Yasmin more than Sasha? Just because Sasha is just a little more messy, at least to me, just because it all kind of doesn't make sense. Like, why would she be wearing over knee boots if she's like covered head to toe? Anyways, like, I don't know. Anyways, I just, <laughs> I feel like Yasmin, make, Yasmin makes a little more sense, but that's just my taste. Um, yeah, what do you think of those two? And then lastly, what do you think of this Dua Lipa customized, uh, Again, GCDS collab. What do you think of this doll? I think she's beautiful. I think it's a shame we're not gonna get her. Like, why even show us if you're not gonna give it to us? Like, why torture us? But <laughs> yeah, let me know what you thought down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any upcoming Bratz doll news. Stay safe, be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.